So we're looking at here is the aeration system for the aquaponics. Uh, I have gone through three separate aeration systems trying to find the most energetically efficient way to get oxygen into water. All the components, all the living components of the aquaponic system, the fish, the microbes, and the plants, all like the most dissolved oxygen in the water possible. So we're trying to figure out the most energy efficient way to get oxygen into the water. Out here in Hawaii, our electric rates are very, very expensive. We pay almost 50 cents a kilowatt hour, which is way more than most people pay, especially on the mainland of the United States. So, finding the most energetically efficient way to get the oxygen into the water is very important uh, for anyone who is running a large aquaponics or aquaculture operation. Also, particularly for people that are in off-grid applications where you need to generate your own electricity to run the system. So, what we've done here enables me to turn the air pumps off. For the first year we were running the systems, the air pumps used two-thirds of the electricity and the water pump used one-third of the electricity. Through the recent innovation, including this Vortex aerator, I've been allowed to turn the air pumps off completely, thereby eliminating two-thirds of the electric bill. This is very important, and I am surprised that this system is not currently being used in commercial aquaculture systems worldwide. It's a more energy efficient way of getting air into water than using an air pump. So what we're using is we're using the water pump that was circulating anyway, but taking the water through the water pump going into the fish tank, I'm running it through this 55 gallon barrel and it runs through a vortex. So um, yeah, come on and we'll have a look and see the vortex.